Joining me this afternoon, I've got Todd and Crystal Warzniak. Uh, we would love to hear what kind of ministry do you guys do and what is your title in that? First of all, you handled our last name amazingly <laughs> well, Sylvia. Uh, yeah, um, we say that we fight wars on our knees and we act for everybody else who doesn't do as good of a job as you. <laughs> um, yay! But we're the director team with Indian Life Ministries and um, Indian Life's goal, I guess, if you will, is to restore hope, healing and honor within the indigenous communities across North America through a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And the way that we talk about Indian life is it's kind of like an iceberg. So what you see above the surface is that Indian life is a literature publication ministry, but below the surface were uh, a prayer ministry, a prison correspondence ministry, uh, serving the homeless, a, t a conference attending. Um, yeah. Uh, You're doing well. Yeah, everything <laughs> ministry, and that's really where the meat of Indian life resides. So we print newspapers and publish books, and so much more goes into that. Yeah, for Crystal just mentioned the newspaper, and so we publish this newspaper called Indian Life, and this paper goes all across North America. And uh, for example, every prison in the uh, North America and U.S. and Canada receives at least one copy. Now, what tends to happen is one of the copies goes out to uh, a prison and it will be distributed amongst maybe 10, 20 or 50 hands. The neat part about the paper is that it's 50 percent gospel truth and 50 percent positive native news. And inside the paper, there's a chance for prisoners to write into our prayer circle and we pray for those prayer requests once a month. And uh, let me tell you, people are coming to Christ through this ministry. Yeah. That is amazing. I love that. Thank you for sharing. Um, and I was going to say, what was the reach? But you guys said North America. Wow. Yeah. And so are you guys, I got to ask, because I've talked to a lot of different people. Are you based in Manitoba? Are you somewhere else in Canada? Like, where are you guys right now? You know, the roots of Indian life go way back. In 1979, it was formed in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And there's three gentlemen that came together and formed the ministry. And uh, since then, uh, my wife and I, we actually live just outside of Calgary, Alberta. So we were able to set up a satellite office there. Our roots will always be in Winnipeg, uh, but now we're expanding westward into Alberta. And uh, yeah, we just love it. And it's a great ministry. That's fantastic. Are you guys coming out to Winnipeg this weekend? We're so, oh, we're here right we're now. We're actually in Winnipeg oh, now. We're so excited yeah. for Mission Fest. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can't hardly wait for that. This will be our first Missions Fest uh, that we've attended. And uh, we are looking forward to meeting everybody, uh, looking forward to uh, having people come to the booth. Uh, we'd love to share more about the ministry. And Crystal said earlier, it's, it's like an iceberg, the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more with this ministry and, and so, so little time to share now. <laughs> come come to the booth, come yeah. to Missions Fest, and we'll share and we'll talk. We love people. So if we can meet as many people as possible, that would be amazing. Absolutely. Well, I would love to know one other question about your ministry, if that's all right. Uh, I know you guys said you did a lot. What can a typical day look like? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, Which <laughs> typical day are you talking about? <laughs> the one where we're in the office. Every day getting... is different. <laughs> The one where we're in the office getting ready for the newspaper to be printed or the, the the typical day that we're on the road traveling to conferences and meeting people and getting onto reserves and just which, which day in particular? <laughs> you know, we, oh, it we, sums it up right there. That's yeah. fine. We, we get a lot of emails, uh, a lot of phone calls, uh, people uh, call in and sometimes they just want prayer. And so we spend some time in prayer with those people. Sometimes they want to order some of our publication material and we'll set up the order for them or talk about the newspaper or talk about articles. Uh, so there's, yeah, there's no really typical day. Uh, we ha we've we learned to be very flexible. Interruptible. And, and interruptible. Adaptable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. One other question. Uh, how often do you do the publication of the newspaper? Yeah, so it comes out every two months. So for a year subscription, you get six copies of the newspaper. Wonderful. And well, also digital too. Digital. 
Actually, we have a treat for everybody coming to Mission Fest. If you come see our booth and come talk to us, we are giving away a free online subscription for Indian Life for one year. So come check us out. (laughs) Excellent. Well, there's your invitation, everybody watching. Come and check out Indian Life. You've got Todd and Crystal Warzniak, and they would love to see you. Thank you both for taking the time to talk to me today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see everybody there. Sounds great. God bless you guys. We will see you there. I'll be there Friday night. Excellent. God bless. Excellent. See ya. Okay. (laughs) We'll see you guys there. Bye. Bye.